should be wise and know more about different cultures as well. Not just black history, but it's an honor to be able to have a month where we are able to come together and celebrate black history and to learn where we come from and our heritage. Thank you for joining us for the KHSD Weekly Wrap Up. I'm Erin Briscoe Clark. Students from across the district came together to celebrate Black History Month during the BSU Project Best and YWEL conference held at West High School last weekend. They were in it. Not only were they in it, but they, they were part of what is called the Project Best. School and community leaders connected, shared stories and leadership strategies with around 200 students involved in their school's Black Student Union, Project Best and Young Women Empowered for Leadership programs. It's joyful and it's exciting to know that the young folks are still want to move forward and they are our future. We have to make sure that they're ready to take over when we leave. West High senior Asian A. Carson has been active in BSU on campus since her freshman year and says it's been a wonderful experience that she encourages other students to join. Come on, it's welcome to anybody. You just don't have to be African American. Our door is open to anybody. We have meetings every other week, so like if you just want to come in, they're at lunch. Doors always open. We have a dress up week come in and then we have conferences like this one and we have carnivals. It's pretty fun. We get, we get around with all the other BSUs like South and North and Golden Valley. It's pretty fun. All the schools get together, make new friends. So I'll say come join. During the conference, students attend various workshops on African American history, leadership, self-esteem, education, and more. Mentorships is important in the African American community, not only in the African American community, but it's something special when someone that looks like you is able to mentor you. Because here, even in Kern County, maybe in a lot of other places, but when you have some, when you're the minority in a classroom, but then you walk in a class or in a program and you see someone who looks like you, you kind of have the instant connection. Like, I know where you come from, you know where I come from. So that's important to our students. The conference concluded with a lunch and award ceremony celebrating students' academic accomplishments. I'm going to go major in psychology. I'm either going to be a psychiatrist or a doctor. This fall, the district will be opening its doors to Del Oro High School, located at East Panama Lane and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. The admin team has been hitting the pavement, meeting people in the community to let them know a new school is coming. We go to every place we can, from Boys and Girls Club to Friendship House, uh, just to, to reach out to everybody we can to, to you know, form partnerships. So, um, you know, even this, these stores around here, we, we know these people already. And so it's uh, been very fun and they've been very welcoming. These guys at this school or the store, they asked me the other day, uh, are you going to have football there? And I said, yeah. And they go, man, we're going to fill this place up because we've never had anything in this community that belonged to us, which was just great to, to hear. The new school holds a special place in assistant principal Chris Dutton's heart. Not only is it being built in the neighborhood he grew up in, but he is also proud to be part of the Del Oro Suns team. The opportunity to be back out here, it's, it's, it's a homecoming for me. Um, this is the culmination of all my years in, in, in education. To be able to come home and b bring a high school to the community just three minutes from where I grew up, you know, from where I played. And uh, I caught the bus right across the street there. Uh, to go to to go to elementary school and middle school. So for me, um, this is the greatest honor, greatest achievement of my career to, you know, to be able to be on a team to bring this to this community. As part of the community outreach, Del Oro is holding several meet and greets to welcome the freshman class. It's an opportunity for parents and students to learn more about the programs, activities and athletics offered. Here's a look at the scheduled meet and greets. The first being held on March 31st at Greenfield Middle School from 6 to 7 p.m. Then on April 5th at McKee Middle School from 6 to 7 p.m. April 6th at the Friendship House from 6 to 7 p.m. And on April 7th at Mountain View Middle School from 6 to 7 p.m. Del Oro is the district's 19th comprehensive high school and will open in the upcoming 2022-23 school year. Congratulations are in store for Centennial High School's We the People team for placing third in the California State Championships in Sacramento last weekend. The team entered the competition as the overall winner at the county competition held in Bakersfield last month. Great job, Jayhawks. Kudos also go out to Arvin High School and West High School We the People teams for their amazing run at state. 
Both teams received wild card invitations for scoring high enough at the county competition. Arvin's team went into the competition after taking home first place in the 21st Congressional District here at home. West High's team got a celebratory send off before boarding the bus to Sacramento and there was a lot to cheer for as it is the first time in the school's history the team has competed at state. To all of the We the People teams, way to make KHSD and Kern County proud. School counselors in our district play a vital role in helping our students achieve success in high school and plan for a career. This week, we celebrate our counselors in honor of National School Counseling Week. This year's theme is Better Together. School counselors work with our students to set goals and a healthy mindset, learn to develop effective collaboration skills, practice perseverance, and develop time management and study skills. So the next time you see your school counselor, say thank you. We appreciate your dedicated work in ensuring students have the tools they need to succeed. Thank you for watching the KHSC Weekly Wrap Up. For more videos, please visit the Kern High School District Public Information YouTube page. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.